<laughs> it is graduation season all over America, and Super Bowl winning Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker delivered a commencement address at Benedictine College in Kansas that has sparked quite a petition because they want to get him booted from the team. Take a look. I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. All of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. So the NFL released a statement that he gave this speech in his personal capacity, and they do not, the NFL does not share his views. So, you know, listen, I like when people say what they need to say. He's at a Catholic college. Yeah. He's a staunch Catholic. These are his beliefs, and he's welcome to them. I don't have to believe them. Right. I don't have to accept them. The ladies that were sitting in that audience do not have to accept them. <coughs> the same way we want respect when Colin Kaepernick takes a knee. Right. We want to give respect to people whose ideas are different from ours because the man who says he wants to be president, you know who? Yeah. He says the way to act is to take away people's right mm -hmm. to say how they feel. We don't want to be that. We don't want to be those people. So I'm okay with him saying whatever he says. And the women who are sitting there, if they take his advice, good for them. They'll be happy. If they don't, good for them. They, they'll be happy a different way. That's my attitude. So I um, agree with you and I disagree with you. That's so, okay. Um, so I agree with you that freedom, in the spirit of freedom of speech, I don't want people shut down or fired for things they're mm -hmm. willing to say. Yeah. I will break with you on the comparison to Colin Kaepernick for this reason. Colin Kaepernick was standing up for the rights of many and saying in a social justice moment, this is a reminder that we're not there yet. What this man is doing is not just a devout Catholic. This is um, someone who's practicing something called the traditional Latin yes. mass, yes. which is a divergent from the majority of Catholics. It's compared to being cult-like and extremist, like some religions in the Middle East and Asia. So this is a very extreme religion, and what bothers me about that as a Christian, is that when people abuse uh, Christianity, they often not only cherry pick from the Bible, they misinterpret and lie by omission by taking out parts that would have explained something a little better. So what I can say to him as a Christian is if, if you're using this to oppress a people or hold them down, you're not walking with Jesus. If you are using the religion, if you are more obsessed with the religious rituals and practices than you are with the word of Jesus, you're not walking with Jesus. And if you're using it for the judgment of others and as a weapon to beat people down, you're also not walking with Jesus. So I would really encourage him, really encourage him to find the best parts of faith and not diverge into extremist well, but, 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 that, but, but if this is... If this is his belief system, if there are many Catholics who are staunch this way and don't I'm actually just a say, small, I'm small just, percentage listen, going I'm to the Latin person, mass. It, 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 I'm just telling you there are many people who believe this way, and I'm simply saying rather than write a petition to get him fired because don't this get him is, fired. Well, yeah. Looking at the NFL player we score Chief Keith Harrison Buckler. Um, City Chief Kick Karim Buckler. He was graduating and he had to give his speech from graduate school. According to him, he appreciated the wife who he met in middle school. The wife had been there for him. He was so grateful. And the wife took the position of becoming a homemaker. So she's so he's so grateful. Without the wife, he could have not been where he is. So he wants to thank God for the wife. He went ahead to thank God for many things. Many women in their views were not in the accord of that. Some of them say that they are Catholic Christian and the guy gave some type of option. He was talking against the Catholic religion. He did not have to do that. He talks against the Pope. Who is he to talk that? He came again and talked about against President Biden. 
to him purposely he talked about um um Taylor, Taylor Swift that just my friend's girlfriend so he put her tried to put him put her down according to hope he to joy be a joy be a said that the boy have complex because his mother was surely the one that abandoned him and did not show him that mommy's love and will allow him and go away and so he did not have that care of his mother that's why he, he doesn't see any good can happen to any woman so he believes that every woman has to be pressed down so that's why he even pressed the wife to see that home according to um to sony sony said that um the proverb 31 woman you can still work you can still have a job you can still be a good homemaker there are many things you can do not only just that you'll be a homemaker without doing any other thing so basically they all have their own opinion to talk basically about him and they were not very happy and whoopi went ahead whoopi said that she personally will not blame him for his belief he has his personal belief and he does not blame people for what they believe but, and he does not like that because this boy have said that and they are coming to take his job so he will not like that somebody to give their own opinion the only way to discipline that person is for someone to come and take away the person's job just like what President Donald Trump is doing. They have to restrict that person who don't like what they are doing, not taking the person's job out of the person out of that person and making the person becoming incomeless. You know you can become incomeless, obviously. You know how money to take off yourself, you can't pay your bills. Homelessness, especially in this country, is not it's very easy to become homeless in the nation that we are. So basically, according to Hopi, Hopi was against that. Hopi said he must not understand. She must not understand everything he's saying, but actually he's responsible for his own statement and his belief will not change. But many of the women in their views that they will not. Someone like Sarah, Sarah says she knows the Catholic Church very well. There are some things that boy is talking out of the Bible. They on the quote Galatians about talking about love. But that boy is saying contrary things from the Bible but that he should be just be speaking things that are out of the Bible. He's very wrong for what he's doing. He's very wrong for what he's doing. Basically, what do you think? Do you think this this boy should be disciplined? They should take uh, um discipline him because the NFL did not find that funny. They didn't find his speech funny. And they were controversial about that his speech. And basically, who we'll say you cannot do that? You cannot take someone's job because you don't believe. They have the same belief with the person. So, what do you think? Can I see your opinion in the comment section? Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and help share the video. But I need this video will be the the short feeling. Thank you very much.